As some of you already knew, I recently received my content creator promo code, which you can use during your Rush Royale market purchases. It's a very simple thing to do if you need to buy gems, platinum or any pass, event passes as well. You can just buy platinum with which you can buy an event pass. You go to Rush Royale market, the link will also be in the description of the video along with my promo code. Select your desired item, enter your Rush Royale ID, which you can find in the game in the settings tab. Enter the code MANTI as a secret code. Then you can add your nickname and message to me, which will also appear in my panel. Choose any form of payment and that's it. By using my code, I get 10% revenue from each purchase so I can continue to grow my channel, stream, account or do more giveaways for you. Thanks for using my code. Sneeze. Thank you. Um, so you're doing the, oh, you're doing Covenant. I usually do the, um, the other one. And so then that way you can only have like, you can leave just one spot to be merging on a tile and, uh, and to get the Knight statue stacks. And then that way you can cover all of them with one and you merge on the outside. So you don't get Knight statues to turn it off whenever you need to merge like late. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, that is true. Um, yeah, I mean, it might be different now. That's just what I used was the other one. Oh, it's dark rank up week in this devil. You you would play them like a witch. I would like at the top and the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it would. Be. It's so different playing the new scrapper. You're like, oh wait, okay, I can do that now. I can, I can merge it. I can. This is safe. This is safe. Oh yeah. It's it's one of the best. I forgot I have gadget in the next turn.
Oh yeah, I forgot I can scrap anything. <laughs> oh my god, I'm right forgetting. <laughs> How do I play? I was like sitting here like, ah, oh, I gotta merge out. Nope. I can do whatever I want. No repercussions. <laughs> On one hand, it feels wrong, but on the other hand, it feels so right. Oh my gosh, the three scrap. So glorious. Does it matter which one you use to scrap? Is a tier five scrapper better to use as a scrap than a tier three? Is it doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna test that. All right, tier five gives me 765. That's 130. It is. It does. Wait, no, it doesn't. Never mind. I lied. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Scrapping with my tier 3 in case I accidentally <laughs> scrap something good with my tier 5. <laughs> I just know that's gonna happen. One of these times. Roll with the raid, thank you.
Nice. Yeah, yeah, with nice actually you can the speed alone can kinda help it withstand it. It's pretty nice. Oh counterspell just missed it. I'm just tier six is good enough. I don't need to go to tier seven. No, oh, man. So much mana. <laughs> it just keeps giving me mana. I feel like I am playing uh, Mari. No. Oh, my damage shots are done. I can't get that tier 3 to get hit. <laughs> it's the only one. There we go. No way, is it going down? Oh my gosh. Oh. Nice. That once one bruiser just does not want to rank up. Nah, you're good, you're, you're chill. <laughs> oh my gosh, hit that one scrapper, please.
Nice. Dude, it, it is not want to hit that one. It is off limits. <laughs> That's crazy. No, oh no. That's a lot of nice edge you stacks. I just I think the other build it works better when you can have the formation. So that's like why because like, like you can make more connections easier. That's what I feel like. And I also use I don't use the cleanse. I use the the tile that so you can always like at least guarantee you know getting them activated. But I'm down to run it back. I'm I'm down to play as much as you want. So just let me know what you want to play.